Hello and welcome to Planet Algo, where we discuss all things about the Algorand network. Today we will be learning in depth to what constitutes an account on Algorand and the related fundamental properties concerning blockchain in general. Small warning, while I will do my best to keep it at a high level, some parts may get a little technical. So let me know down below if you have any questions. So let's get started. Here I have three accounts in the official Algorand wallet over on the left. You can see I have Tina, Rohan, and the largest Algo account. Now, first we're going to look at Tina. So if I go up to Tina and I click to the right of her name, there's that little QR code icon. And this brings up Tina's public address, otherwise known as her Algorand address. This address is meant to be shared with anyone. It is how people can send you money and nobody can harm your account with it. So you can see we have the QR version of it and we have the long version of it down at the bottom. So if I took this long version down here and I already have it copied, I'm gonna go ahead and paste it over on the left into the Algo Explorer. You will note that with this Algorand address that anybody could come over to the Algo Explorer and look it up. And this is the nature of blockchain. Everything on blockchain is available for inspection by anybody else. It is a public ledger. So you can see here that you could take this address and see all of the transactions that have ever occurred on this account. So that may, might make you wonder then, that what exactly is an account? Well, remember what blockchain is, which is just essentially an immutable ledger. Immutable meaning that once a transaction happens, it can never be changed. Ledger meaning it's just a group of transactions. So if we go back to the iPad and we look at our thoughts here, I've crudely drawn up what I would like to say is an account on the blockchain. So to start, we have the green block and I'm using that as a representative of the Algorand blockchain. And in that blockchain, we would have an account. And up top, I have the Algorand address in big bold purple. And remember that this would be the address I just got from the official Algorand wallet the public address that I put into the Algo Explorer. So on the blockchain, that identifies my account, and then it has a little bit of extra data such as my balance and my status. And you might say, well, what is the status? The status actually relates to consensus, and you have either two values, which are online or offline. Online means that this account is participating in consensus, and offline would mean that it is not, okay? So that's all that an account is in Algorand. In programming, we would call it basically an entity. So now that we go back to the app, you can see that I have Tina, Rohan, and the largest Algo account. And just so you know, Tina and Rohan in the app are my accounts, okay? So I control them. But you might say, what enables me to control them? And what that is, is called the 25 word monomic or 25 word passphrase. And when you create an account through the Algorand app or through anywhere else, they're gonna give you this passphrase and they're gonna tell you to write it down. This passphrase is what allows money to go out of an account. Without this passphrase, nobody can send money from your account, okay? So if we look down below, you can see that in the official Algorand wallet, I can add any account I want to and I have added the largest Algo account. So now remember that any Algorand address we can watch, right? But without the 25 word monomic, I cannot send from it. So if I hit send, it's not going to come up. I cannot send from that address. I can send from Tina and Rohan because I have the 25 word monomic entered, okay? But I cannot send from the other account. Now, I want to go real quickly into what exactly this 25 word monomic is from a development standpoint and what the public address is. And, and the reason I want to cover this is that when developers talk about this, they are likely to use terms such as public and private key. So if I come over here into the Algorand documents, you can see that what we have over here is we have a public and private key for each account. So what they do is they basically take the public key and they transform it into what's called an Algorand address, and then they take the private key and they transform that into your 25 word monomic. So now the last point is going to be a reiteration of something I've said many times and the reason for this is that we really want to build that neural pathway in your brain is that your Algorand address, your public address can be given to anyone. Nobody can sign a transaction with it, i.e. they cannot send a transaction out from your account 
with the public address. All they can do with the public address is view the account and they can send money to it. You are free to send it to anyone. Nobody can harm your account with it. However, the same cannot be said of the 25 word monomic, which is tied to the private key. That must be saved somewhere safely and you should never give it out to anyone. Whoever has that is able to execute and sign any transaction out of your account. So to keep it real high level, the Algorand address you're free to give to people. In fact, you want to because that's how they send you money. But the 25 word monomic, your passphrase, keep that written down on a piece of paper, print it out, put it on a thumb drive, save it somewhere safe because that is how someone could take your money. Never give it to anybody, but you do need to keep it in case you ever need to recover your account. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit like and subscribe down below. If you have any questions or comments, also let me know. And I hope you have a great day. I will be seeing you tomorrow.